Well, howdy there, Pilgrim. What's a city slicker like you doing in a place like this? This here's Western-themed video game land, and we're mighty proud of being mighty mighty, let me tell ya. From hustling cattle to listen to me prattle, the games on this here wanted poster are a who's who of showdowns at noon, so what say we get cracking and I can stop doing this f***ing annoying accent? With this in mind, I'm Jules, aka Gilly the Kid from WhatCulture.com, and these are the 10 best Western themed video games ever. Number 10. Wild Guns Wild Guns is a beautiful slice of arcade silliness, allowing you and a friend, or up to three other friends if you get the Reloaded Edition for PC and PS4, to engage in frantic shootouts with all manner of enemies in a cyber western world. There's never a dull moment as you dive, swat, lasso and blart more hot fire than my latest rap album Liquid Sh** and all the hits volume 2. Also a highlight are the comical and often massive bosses at the end of each stage which will push you to your limits. This is not an easy game by any stretch. So if you want to survive, you're going to have to have finger speed at quick draw levels. Number 9. Gun Gun took many people by surprise with its grimy nature. This was a western tale that glorified violence and little else, offering players so many ways to kill that it was almost like being on the most expensive and explosive movie set of all time. The story is pretty standard, with good guys versus bad, but it's the gameplay that was the real star of the show. Being able to switch between first, third and overhead views, it was a real bad time to be a real bad guy, as you were likely seconds from death. Think of this game as the stepping stone between Red Dead Revolver and and Red Dead Redemption, and trust me, we'll get to those. Number 8. The Oregon Trail You can't talk about Western gaming without paying homage to one of the first to make the frontier fun. Back in 1974, the Oregon Trail tasked players with traversing the American Trail, a notoriously long and difficult journey in search for a better lifestyle. And difficulty was definitely the word of the day when the devs were making this, as every action, every passing moment is being watched closely by death itself. Fever, snake bite, typhoid, and the ever common and awful dysentery are but just some of the ways that you can bite the big one in this game. It got across the point brutally so that the Wild West was not exactly a campus safe space of a time. Number 7. Wild Arms Releasing in the same year as Final Fantasy VII, Wild Arms did so much right but unfortunately failed to get the mainstream love it rightly deserves. From its charmingly Wild West styled world to its brilliant combat system that saw you move from a 2D space to a 3D fighting arena, Wild Arms was a joy to play from start to finish. As you traverse the world of Phil Gaia, you control a team of dream chasers, a ragtag group that, in a familiar trope, start out wanting to hunt down a buck or two but soon get embroiled in a large-scale predicament. Yet it's what Wild Arms builds on this stock story that makes it so enduring. This is worth your time. Number 6. Sunset Riders Co-op experiences don't get much better than Sunset Riders. It's a run and gun in the sun with a ton of fun baked in a bun. It's super colourful and packed to the 10 gallon with 11 gallons of action. And it's this action which, like my overbearing presence in these videos, never lets up. And you'll find yourself falling into a zen-like state of twitch reaction, bullet slinging and dynamite chucking. Plus, that kick-ass dodge slide you can do is a f***ing belter. Classic arcade action and well worth a spin. Number 5. Blood Featuring a gunslinger protagonist blasting his way across old-style turn-of-the-century terrains, fighting off a mysterious occult and having sci-fi elements, there's no denying it, Blood is a rusty campire pot filled with genres. It's also a damn immersive first-person shooter which boasts some of the best 3D graphics the 90s had to offer, and also boasts a genre first in that it features weapons with a primary and secondary mode of attack. Add to this spicy mix a load of f***ing mental enemies, and you've got yourself some beans which will blow out your back end like nobody's business. Number 4. Red Dead Redemption This game is a pleasure to play, make no bones about it. From the dusty aesthetics to the beautiful tale of betrayal, revenge and, you guessed it, redemption, RDR is as close as you could get to living out the final days of the wildest of Wests. As technology is slowly creeping across the land, you get to see its effects used for both good and evil. And you will see so, so much in your time here. From simple beginnings to overturning dictators to taking on the US Army, it's an emotional and well-paced ride. Add to this shooting combat that feels clean and a map that's filled with strangers and surprise cougar attacks in equal measure, and you get a game which stands as a shining beacon of not only how to do right by the Wild West, but in how to make a game in general. Top stuff. Number 3. Desperados Wanted Dead or Alive Back in the 90s, the real-time strategy genre was king. Age of Empires, Command and Conquer, Dungeon Keeper, Starcraft… Oh boy, just saying those names is giving me RTS RSI. And amongst them all was the spiritual successor to Commandos, 
desperados wanted dead or alive. You led your ragtag bunch of western stereotypes through a deadly world where actions needed to be considered before charging in. It led to tense Mexican standoff moments as you desperately scrambled out of enemies' firing lines only to return with an ambush and clear out the whole town. It's exciting and beautiful in equal measure. Number 2. Fallout New Vegas New Vegas wears its rootin' tootin' nuclear polluting colours proudly, plonking your shot in the face ass right into the sprawling Mojave wasteland and then filling your yellow belly with a ton of irradiated lead. To put it bluntly, it's a f***ing amazing game with an incredible amount of depth and love put into it. In fact, it's my personal favourite in the series thanks, in part, to its Wild West vibes. There's a real sense of bleakness that comes from looking across an arid and dry expanse that lends itself well to the idea of the frontier founders of times gone by. Although saying that, they probably had less f***ing Cazadors to deal with, f*** you, you f***ing glow-eyed c and number one, Red Dead Revolver. Yes, that's right, the game that preceded Red Dead Redemption is the number one cattle rustling, spittoon dinging, assless chap of this town of Listwater. Honest to God, this game is fantastic. Putting you in the rattleskin boots of Red as he rises from the ashes of a torched home to kill those responsible. Train chases, barn burning, showdowns in tumbleweed streets, this takes all of the Western film and story tropes and makes them feel fun and fresh. And and that's to say nothing of the myriad of colourful and often hilarious characters who populate this world, filling every moment with entertainment. Now I love this game, unashamedly, so much so that way back in the day I actually had an entire Let's Play, yes that was a thing, dedicated to this where I crafted a character that was an abusive and foul-mouthed mentalist known as Cornelli. His phrase was, I have no time for this, but I will always have time for this game. And that's our list. Got any other Wild West games that you'd recommend? Well, let me know about them in the comments section below. And why not swing by whatculture.com for more news and articles like this every goddamn day. As always, I've been Jules, you've been awesome, and I'll speak to you soon.